<laughs> Sack life, beat depression, it's day 664, and we're back for more with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later, I want to shout out gratitude, uh, gratitude being that powerful mental health tool. As you know, it's martial arts or mental health show, so we want to start with the mental health tools, focus in on mental health. Um, and the rest of the benefits from this class will come as side effects of taking care of our mental health. So one powerful tool that we have to take care of our, our mental health out here is that gratitude tool. The more we use it, the easier it becomes to use, the easier it becomes to find those silver linings in life. And today I want to shout out gratitude to the first one in Regina BK. I appreciate you. Thank you for that support. Um, it means a lot to me. Even if you're just stopping in for a moment to say hello or to lend some support, uh, time is all we have, so I do appreciate that moment. That being said, go ahead and think about your piece of gratitude for today. That'll put you in that positive mindset as we move into the, to today's lesson. Shout out to Lisa the Luminary for being here as well. Appreciate you, Lisa. Thank you so much for your consistency. And to your demon girl and to the others who are joining now and maybe joining later. Uh, remember, if you don't catch this show today or you don't catch the whole thing, or if you got a friend who's interested in watching it, um, the replays are now available on YouTube only at Sack Life Daily. Sack Life Daily on YouTube, you can catch a high quality replay, it'll become in better quality than this because it's not live streamed, it's not compressed or condensed. Uh, we've got better quality content up there. So, that being said, we talked about our gratitude tool, gratitude going out to one another for supporting each other. Gratitude also going out to fresh air, sunlight, the beautiful day. There's a million things that you can be grateful for once you start looking for those silver linings. So think about that thing you're grateful for that will put you in that positive mindset. Next mental health tool we're going to talk about is the progress tracking tool. So how many days have you shown up for you? How many days have you fought forward? Whether it was the whole session of 10 minutes or just one minute. If you showed up to you and challenged yourself to your level for that given day, then you made progress for that day and you did it in the face of anything that was trying to slow you down or tell you otherwise. So please do keep track of that progress. That number becomes more and more powerful the more we use it. Uh, just like the gratitude tool, that number will only go up. And even if we miss a day, right? Uh, some people in fitness programs, they fall off the wagon. So they fall off the wagon, they, they have to reset their, their progress or they lose progress. We never lose progress. Even if we miss a day, that number doesn't go back to zero. It doesn't, doesn't go down, doesn't get smaller. It doesn't become any less proof of how strong we are in this fight. So please do keep track of that number and watch as it grows and you uh, can use that as an anchor to this physical, to this real solid proof that you are stronger than these negative thoughts which are only temporary that depression or anxiety feed us. Um, so yes, it's been 664 days for me. Let me know how many days it's been for you. By sharing that number, by sharing that tool, we can inspire others to do more for themselves as well. As we know, we can't change people. Uh, so the best thing we can do is change ourselves, be the change we want to see in the world. And then hopefully that change will inspire others, which it has been doing. So thank you to everyone who's been staying consistent and who's been sharing that number um, because there's been comments coming in that your progress has inspired other people to start moving forwards in their life. And that's what it's all about. We're all in this thing together, stronger together, right? Capable alone, proving it to ourselves every day. We're capable alone of moving forwards, but we're even more capable when we work together. We can inspire others to move forward, forwards as well. Shout out to Ken. 272 days of progress, consistent progress, has not missed a beat. Good stuff, Ken. And shout out to Lisa, the luminary. One day shy of a full year of consistent progress and success. That's unbelievable, Lisa. It's fantastic. Like, I'm out here at 664 and people are like, no one, that's not realistic. You just did a whole year. You get one more day. Tomorrow's your sack anniversary. <laughs> Good stuff. And that just goes to show that other people can do this. It's not just me. You can find a way to set yourself an attainable, accomplishable goal every day. Keep track of that progress and give yourself the credit for that number that you deserve. That's a lot of work. It's hard to be consistent with anything, let alone a physical routine, something that demands us to put some work into it. So congratulations, Lisa. We'll celebrate uh, tomorrow your official happy anniversary, and, uh, and keep up the great work. Keep inspiring others. Keep on working for yourself. And let us know uh, in the comments section on the YouTube channel. Maybe you can wait till tomorrow, but let us know how it's been uh, for 364 days. Have you noticed any changes and feel any different from when you started? Have you seen certain areas improve specifically regarding mental health? 
um, but maybe also some of the other benefits that you found. I know you mentioned some things about uh, getting that stress level under control and working on your physical strength and things like that. So maybe you could share that stuff with the world, let them know what the program's been doing for you and how you've been making progress out there because it'll be inspiring to others. So again, Sack Life Daily on YouTube. Uh, if you want to catch the replay or drop some comments after this thing is over, you can do so at Sack Life Daily on YouTube. No more replays on Instagram. They crush our quality and then they punish us for it. So <laughs> we're not going to do that anymore. Uh, thank you. Welcome to the show as well. Worst kind of friends. I believe that's Mike the Executioner out there. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for that support. We did the number tool, days of progress. We did our gratitude tool. Now let's talk about the lesson. We're going to work from Muay Thai position, Muay Thai stance. And today we'll have that bread and butter jab cross going out there. But we're also going to talk about hooks. And we're going to talk about throwing hooks properly on the bag or on the bob so that we can avoid injury. It's not necessarily how you would throw a hook in the ring in competition. Um, small differences here is that we're going to be broadcasting or telegraphing our moves here on the show so that we can follow along with each other um, and get proper form. But you wouldn't want to do that in the ring because it's going to give away what your next shot is. So your opponent will be prepared and might be able to counter. So ideally in the ring, you'd want to, in the ring or in competition under pressure testing uh, situations, you'd want to keep those hands close and at the last second send the hand out to make contact. But in here, we're just going to set that shot off so we can make sure we're not damaging those tools that we're out here using to make ourselves better every single day. And Bob will help us a little bit with that, improving our accuracy. The heavy bag, if you've got a heavy bag at home, whether it's aqua bag or a solid old school like sandbag or anything like that, um, those things can give you an even more powerful somatic release. So I encourage everybody to get themselves to a bag or to a Bob or to a gym or to a dojo, somewhere where you can feel that physical release. Lisa, I know you got that heavy bag, so this this technical section, making sure we turn those knuckles over, get these dynamics right, get those, that sweet science right, that's going to be super beneficial on the bag because it's going to let you get an even better release of that physical energy, that anxiety-like feeling, that activated feeling, um, and pump that stress hormone cortisol in an even uh, more effective way, in a positive way that builds you up physically and mentally. So. Let's talk about that hook for a moment. The hook is going to come, our power with all of our shots comes through not just our arms, not just the fists, but through our whole body. We transmit it up from the ground. We're using rotational force. We're using angles. And we're using our whole body behind those punches to make them power shots, to make them really powerful shots. Shout out to Gus. Appreciate you, man. I was just watching uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, the JCVD last night. I was thinking about you. You gave me that recommend. I love it, dude. Ton of, ton of campy stuff in there. Super dope. Uh, also, I'll be back in Vegas in like two days, brother. So looking forward to seeing you. Uh, that being said, let's get back on track. Uh, I appreciate your support, man. We're in Muay Thai position, guards up high. We're going to step in for the jab and the cross. And then from here, we're going to pivot on that front foot. On the ball of the front foot, we're going to rotate through as we shift that body weight and kind of shift ourselves back to center, right? If we're advancing with the step on the one, we're rotating through with the cross, and then we want to shift that body weight, boom, kind of back to center as we pivot on that front foot. Boom, come back to center for the front hook, and then we shift that body weight forward for the rear hook, bring that rear hook around. Now, in order to do this properly and not injure our fist, we want to make sure of a couple things. One, we want to make sure we're making a proper fist. So close those fingers, right, like a thumbs up. Tuck that thumb behind those top two fingers, supporting those top two fingers. We want to aim to land with those knuckles on our target, whether it's the bag or Bob's face, uh, making sure that those knuckles land hard, keeping that wrist nice and straight. Uh, it's going to lend to better form, more power, and less injury potential. Also, if you are hitting the heavy bag, make sure you wrap up before you sack up. Make sure you wear proper protection, gloves, wraps, protect those investments. Bob's face is pretty nice and soft. It does have a slap to it. We'll condition your skin a bit, but it's a lot easier on the hands than the heavy bag itself, even if you're dealing with an aqua bag. So with Bob, you might not need full gear and protection, but it always helps. So it'll never hurt to wear that stuff and give yourself a better chance at lower injury. That being said, let's talk about the mechanic of that hook one more time. We got the jab, the cross. Now when we pivot on that front ball of the foot, what we're gonna do is throw that front arm up 
before we rotate. We're going to throw that front arm up nice and horizontal here and lock the elbow in at 90 degrees. Lock that elbow in at 90 degrees. Close those fingers. Close the thumb, right? Keep the wrist nice and straight. And you've got two options here when you're tossing that hook. Some people like to turn the palm in towards themselves. Some people like to turn the palm down. It's more a matter of preference, but see how you do. Shout out to Mad With Hats. He said, made it. Oh my God, I can only imagine. You've had a busy day. I woke up at like 5.30, so this is still, I'm still booting up out here, and my timer wasn't working this morning either, so I think we started a couple minutes late, but it is what it is. What's important is that you're here, you showed up for yourself to put in that work, to make that progress, and that's what it's all about. It doesn't, time is relative, right? Time is a concept. It's not always going to be on time. That's not always realistic, but the fact that you showed up and you put in the work and you make the progress, that's the focus, showing up for that process. So thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing that progress and being part of our social support system to Mad With Hats. That being said, let's get back into it, squaring up with that target, right? We're stepping in for the jab, we're rotating for the cross, and we're breaking down the hook. Now for that hook, we talked about it. Toss that arm up on a horizontal plane like it's in a body cast. Lock that elbow in 90 degrees. Close the fist, rotate through the body, pivoting on the ball of the front foot. Boom. Bring that fist around, landing right on target on the jawline of that depression dummy. Step in for one, two, pivot, boom. Rotating through and landing on that jawline. Notice here my palms down, here my palms in. Doesn't make a difference. It's more a matter of preference. See which one you enjoy most. And that strategy, that form and technique is going to be the same on the rear hook as well. Step in, jab, cross, pivot on the front foot for the front hook, pivot on the rear hook, rear foot for the rear hook. And it's the same thing, lock that arm in, elbow 90, turning through the whole body, twisting the shoulders and hips together, rotating on the ball, that back foot, whoosh, that's gonna bring that whole body weight behind it, put the power into that shot, and give you that knockout power when you're fighting that deep depression dummy, knocking those lies clean out of his stupid face. So. Make sure you're working on that technique, protecting those hands, and executing with proper form. And we're going to get into it today. Shout out to Simon and Mays. Thank you for that support as well. We're going to get into it today. We'll have our bread and butter jab and cross going. We'll get in some movement out there, vertical movement, lateral movement. And when we're moving around in our Muay Thai stance, I want you guys to make sure you don't cross your feet. Don't bring your feet together. Always keep your stance evenly balanced and spaced. Whichever direction you're moving in, if you're moving back, rear foot goes first, front foot follows. Moving forwards, front foot goes first, rear foot follows. Same thing with left and right. If you're moving left, left foot goes first. It's easy to remember once you get it. It's, I know it's a lot of information all at once if you're just starting. So go at your pace, push to your level, show up for you, and let's do this thing. We'll have our standard round, three rounds each, three minutes each, one minute breaks, catch your breath and drink some water. Make sure you got water out there and you're staying hydrated. I will be right with you. Just a moment. I wanted to make sure I had enough water, but this is my last water, so <laughs> it is what it is. I'm going to modify to that level. If I wind up running out of water, I'm going to dial back my intensity. And those things that you can moderate for you to push to your level is that intensity of those punches, the power you put behind them, whoosh, that body weight you put behind them, that energy you're putting behind those strikes. Also, the volume of strikes you can change to your level if we're going too slow for your personal challenge, increase that volume, increase that speed, increase that power. Three levels of moderation you can make for yourself to show up for your level today. And take into consideration everything. Everything matters. Just like nothing matters, everything matters as well. If you drank last night, if you partied hard, if you didn't get enough sleep, those things are all gonna affect you. So, moderate to your level, challenge yourself, make sure you got that challenge so you can find that growth, and let's get it on, let's do it. Harry. Oh. Yeah. Beat today. Beat today. Beat today. Yeah. All right, set it up. Bam. This time we're moving. Uh -oh. I may 
have lost my timer here. <laughs> it's up and ready to go, of course. <laughs> There's always going to be unexpected challenges. <laughs> so hopefully this timer will boot up. It's always something, right? <laughs> Alright, if that doesn't boot up, we need a backup. I can set a timer here on the phone, and we can just do this thing. One way or another, we'll make it happen. Let's adapt and survive. <laughs> Alright. Alright, moving along. To do this thing without the bells, I got this timer going on my spare phone out here. So, whew, let's get it started. Square up with that visualized target, that depression dummy. Get into your Muay Thai stance, and let's do this thing starting now. Step in for the jab, turn that fist over, land it on the knuckle, and rotate back, square up. Exhale on that strike as you rotate through, rotate back and square up. Remember to square up with that dummy after each one of your combos or strikes. Step in for the one, rotate for the two, and back to center. Square up, and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders. One, two, let's go, two strike combo. And get that movement in there. Start working on that movement forwards and backwards. You can roll the fist to carry that pace, carry that rhythm, and keep it moving. One, two, back to stance. One, two, back to stance. One, two, back to stance. Down that center line. Fist turns over, fist turns over. Head stays on that center line. Chin tucked. And keep that balance going. Let's go. One, two. Back to stance, one, two, back to stance, square up. And now we're going to talk about the hook. So we're going to step in for the one, rotate for the two. From here, we're nice and balanced, we're nice and centered. We're going to throw this hand up, locking that elbow in at 90, close the fist, and rotate through the shoulders and hips. Turn on the ball, that front foot, bringing that fist around, bam, right into the jaw of that depression dummy. Opposite hand keeps the guard high, chin tucked. And then you square back up into your balance stance. Step in for one, two, three. One, two, pivot on that front foot. Throw the fist up in that body cast. Whoosh, there is number three. Back to stance, square up. One, two, three, combo, let's go. Boom, there it is. Keep a little bit of bend on the knees. That'll help you rotate on the ball of the foot. And let's do it again. One, two, three, pop, pop, pop. There it is, you notice also, kind of shifting my body weight back a little bit when I rotate through for that hook. That keeps me on center. It gives me a little bit of room there to, to line things up and make sure that my angles are right. Step in for one, two, one, two. Pivot for three and kind of stand up tall as you come back around with that hook. One, two, three. Boom. Back. One, two, three. And back. That pivot on the front foot is really important for that hook. It's important for all of our shots, but when we're tossing that lead hook, you want to make sure you're pivoting and pushing that body weight off that front hook. Get some whip going in there. Step in. One, two, three. And back. Let's go. And back. Let's go. Keep moving. And go. One, two, three. One, two, lead hook. One, two, lead hook. And back. Square up. Keep it moving. Exhale hard on those strikes, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth with resistance. Rotate through and back to stance, almost there. And square it up. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And take a break. Whew. Good. I hope you're pushing to your level and find a way through this thing with my failing technology. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. 3%. That's why. Got these timers going. We're going to have a one minute break here. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. We got, we got it. I got backup timers on timers out here uh, getting this thing going. The next two rounds, we'll be able to use our standard timer. So get yourself ready. For that three minutes, one minute break, right now, drink some water, catch your breath, tune in to you. Yes, and we'll have this thing going for the next round. In the next round, we're gonna start with that hook mechanic, and we're gonna work on the rear hook and the front hook. 
Remember to target those mental health benefits when you're shadow boxing. It's important to visualize that depression dummy. Assign him the word depression or anxiety and visualize doing damage to his face as you turn through that body and put that energy where it belongs. Here we go, square up. It's time for round two. Square up with that visualized target. We're gonna start by working on just the hook mechanics. So toss that front hand up into the body cast. Give it a little preload. If you're not coming out of a combo with it, give it a little preload with a cover up. So you can cover up in the front. It's gonna get that rear shoulder loaded. Throw that hand up into the body cast and pivot on that front foot as you rotate back to center. Square up, make sure your balance is nice and stiff and square, nice and even. And we're gonna rotate into that first strike. Cover up for the preload. Toss the arm up into the cast. Rotate on the ball of front foot. Bam, making contact with those knuckles. Bring it back to guard the head. And we're back in stance. Now we're gonna start with the rear hook. For the rear hook, we're gonna pivot on the ball of the rear foot. We can cover up here in the front to add some preload to that shoulder. Right, if we're not coming out of a combo, throw that arm up into the body cast. Palm in or palm down is preference. Just keep the wrist straight and pivot on that rear foot. Boom, bringing the hips and shoulders around together. Twisting through the whole body. Front hand can stay here, guard nice and high. We're twisting through the whole body, boom, and we're bringing that fist around to carry that rotational force. Bam, into that depression dummy's face. Square up, and let's do it again. Lead hook. Right, we're gonna step in with a little cover up, toss the arm into the cast. Rotate through for that lead hook, nice and powerful. Bring it back to defend the head. Rear hand goes into the cast. Rotate through. Feel that body weight center. Try and find that center with your head, keeping the chin tucked, nice and balanced, and just dance around. Pivot around that center. Step in for one, two. Head's nice and centered. Pivot for the one, pivot for the two on the hooks. Let's do it again. Head center, guard high. We're gonna pivot a little bit, keeping that head centered, right? Everything's balanced. Rotate, one, bring it back to guard. Rear hand goes into the cast. Rotate on the rear foot for two, and back to stance. Let's do it again, two hooks. Cover up, one, two, back to stance. Bending those knees just a little bit, it's gonna make it easier to rotate as well. Keeping the chin tucked will hold that balance. Two hooks, let's do it. One, two. Give it a little pre-line and slip action, covering up for the first, and then boom, same thing for the second. Square up, keep it centered. Let's go, two hooks. One, two, two hooks one more time. One, two. Remember, preload with that slip and fire through the hips. Ooh, twisting those hips, twisting those shoulders in. Two hooks, let's go. And square, keep it moving. And back, keep it going, let's go. Step in for a hook if you'd like. Step in, pivot through, pivot through. And back to stand, square up. Two hooks, keep it moving. And back, that's the end of round two. Catch your breath, drink some water. <laughs> Mad with that said his batteries are all down too. Yeah, what are you gonna do, man? This timer, sometimes it lasts three days without a charge, and other times it lasts 24 hours. So. It's very hard to do with this old tech. But at least we've got one new thing. The phone's new. So we're getting better quality as we go. Slowly upgrading. At 36 seconds, catch your breath, drink some water. And we're gonna start working those combos into working those hooks into combos. And I'll show you a little bit on the bob what that will look like as we go. Ooh, 22 seconds. Remember, there's unlimited room for growth, unlimited room for improvement, so don't feel bad if it's very awkward and you're not getting it right away. There's a million points for me to improve every single day, and I've been improving for the last 664 days with no end in sight. I'm looking forward to making my skills, sharpen those skills, and getting more efficient as I go. So hopefully you're looking forward to that growth as well, and keep on growing, that's what it's about. Square up, it's time. Step in for the one, two, pop, pop. Now wind through, boom, with that lead hook, boom, with the rear hook, and back to stand. Step in for one, two, down that center line. Tucking the chin in to that shoulder. Now we're gonna hit him with double hooks. Whoosh, one, whoosh, two. Rotating through that body on the ball of each foot. Show you what it looks like with Bob. Four hit combo here is what we're going for. Let's step in for the one, bop to the chin, 
Step in for the one, two, three, four. Pivot through, using that body weight. Let's go. Go at your pace, pick it up if you need the challenge. Increase that volume, increase that energy to challenge you to your level. Let's go. Four hit combo. Sink on those knees, keep it nice and centered, tuck that chin. And rotate through all four strikes. Four strikes to the chin. Work that depression dummy, knock those lies right out of his face. One, two, three, four, exhale strikes on each one of those strikes. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Pivot on the foot. And land those strikes right on target. Keep it going. Back to stance, four hit combo. One to the chin, two to the chin, three to the jaw, four to the jaw. Square up, keep it going. Moving with it. Feel how one strike feeds the next. Flow with it. Let's go. Push to your level. A little more. Almost there. And that is it for round three. Catch your breath. Drink some water. And congratulate yourself. Ooh. If you made it through. If you made it through <laughs> all nine minutes, that was nine minutes of exercise that can improve the rest of your life. If you do keep track of it, if you do keep track of the number of days that you showed up and you put in that work, then you can guarantee yourself that growth. You can guarantee yourself continued progress and success. Guarantee yourself something to look forward to in the future for the next 664 days or the next 364 for, Lu for Lisa. The next 270 for Slayer Ken, or the next 100 and what is it, two? 102? Where you at, Matt with hats? <laughs> I know you broke that 100 mark. I know you're grinding every day, putting in that work and getting those results for yourself, guaranteeing those results. So please do keep track of that number. It shows you what you can do. It shows you what other shows others what they can do, and it will only get better with time. Until next time, catch the same tech time, same tech channel, same tech life, tech man. Woo.